Hello and welcome to my presentation. My name is Seolito Rodriguez. Here is the outline of my presentation. I will discuss how to present the introduction. I will explain how the introduction is compatible with the outline. I will also discuss how examples and conversions influence my introduction and finally I will ask fellow classmates uh, for advice regarding the introduction. The introduction is the first statement of any length in the conversation you have chosen. To write a good introduction you must 1. Show that you recognize the issues raised in past conversation. 2. Reinforce the language that characterizes your contribution. And 3. Continue to demonstrate that you have something worthwhile to add to the conversation. One way to write a good introduction is to follow the best articles in your target journal and look to conversants and exemplars for guidance. Try to answer these questions about your conversants and exemplars. How do they engage the reader's interest? How many citations do they use, if any? Do they give examples? How long are their introductions? How complex are their sentences? How do they balance general comments with a specific information? And finally, how much background do they provide before moving into the topic of discussion? Another very important uh, element is to critique the first draft of your introduction yourself. Uh, begin with the subject that truly, truly interests you. Uh, be concise and brief. Make sure you provide some orienting background. Do not uh, spend too much time on other people's work. So remember that the main goal of your work is to add something new to the conversation. Uh, make assertions uh, about previous work and new terms. Uh, writers should not assume that the readers will define critical concepts in the way the writer defines them. So this is a point that you must be careful here. Think about the voice and tone that you use in your work. Uh, be careful not to sound too authoritative in your field. And uh, finally, uh, use the three to uh, six key concepts that you use in your abstract. So when we talked about the abstract, there were uh, three to six key terms that we mentioned that it was important to, um, to use, uh, to introduce. Well, it is time now to bring those key terms and use them here in the introduction as well. It is very important to ask for advice from others before working too long on your introduction. Uh, this is the last part of your paper that is relatively uh, easy to ask others to read uh, because it is general and it's still relatively short. Uh, once you begin working on the body of the paper, the manuscript is much longer and to understand your work, advisors need to know more about your field. Uh, you will be much more on your own. So get as much guidance as you can before you leave the introduction. Okay, so based on the uh, guidelines and, and suggestions that I just gave on my presentation, um, here is my introduction does it appeal to you? Uh, will this introduction uh, help in you continue reading uh, the rest of my paper? I would love to hear from you. 
so if you would be kind enough please leave your comments on uh, this presentation on my YouTube channel thank you okay so we have uh, come to the conclusion of this presentation what do we cover we discussed how to present the introduction explained how the introduction is compatible with the outline we also discussed how examples and conversions influence the introduction and finally we talked about the importance of asking fellow classmates for advice regarding the introduction.